Hello, hello everyone and welcome to today's live. Today we're going to be talking about the top three mistakes you're making when starting low carb or keto and how to fix them. I'm Libby, I'm from Ditch the Carbs, I'm a pharmacist, I'm a health coach, I'm a mother of three and I'm here to teach you how to start low carb easy and how to live low carb for life. So let's crack in. Today is going to be about the top three mistakes you're making when starting low carb or keto and how to fix them. So always, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer as many as I can today. If not, I'll come back and do some during the week there for you. So the top three mistakes when you're starting low carb. Number one is not tracking. And I know tracking is boring and I know tracking is dull, but you have to do it, especially right at the beginning. Because if you don't track, you don't know how what a high carb diet that you're currently on and you don't know where your carbs are coming from. And on a pre um, previous lives, I've talked about when I did my tracking right at the beginning, I didn't realize how bad my coffee was. I never had sugar, but it was the volume of milk that was in my coffee that that then taught me to actually I should be having creamy coffees. So that was just one example it taught me. So my normal milky coffee would have maybe 20, 30 grams of carbs in it, depending on how much milk and how big my coffee was. And I swapped that to a creamy coffee where I just put two tablespoons of cream in there and that reduced it down to one gram. And if I hadn't have done my tracking at the beginning, I would never have known these things. So like I say, keep on asking me questions and I can keep on answering them there for you. So not tracking, and if you don't want to track, how do you track? You can either get an app, you can get an app on your phone. I've got a few favorite ones. I always like Nutrita.app, that's one of my favorites. There's a few more out there, but choose what works for you. Or you can get just a piece of paper, and on a piece of paper, just write down what you're having, write down what the carb value is, calculate it. If you don't have an app, you can even Google it, how many carbs are in a, um, a chicken breast or how many carbs are in a certain amount of cheese. You can just Google that. It's absolutely fine. Or the easiest way is you just take a photo. Take a photo with your phone and you can just track exactly what you'll be having throughout the day. So that's number one. Not tracking is the biggest mistake that I see. People think that they're going low carb, they're giving up the sugary drinks, but they're not actually tracking to where it's coming from. Mistake number two is setting the wrong macros. Now there are three levels of macros that I always ask you to go for. There is either, and this is why you need to track, to know what level you're starting on. Level one is under 100 grams of net carbs per day is considered to be moderate carb. Under 50 grams a day is considered to be low carb and under 20 grams a day is considered to be keto. So if you're setting yourself the wrong macros, some people set them too high and they just aren't getting to below the threshold to actually lose weight. Some people are setting them too low and they're setting themselves up for disaster. If you've been, you're living on a high carb diet and you have this is the first time you've ever gone low carb and you suddenly want to go to strict keto, that's where I see most of the members, and that's when most members end up in the pro group with me. They've tried and they've failed, they've tried and they've failed, and they've never actually got to realize what is their carb limit. So if you're coming from a high carb diet, even just going to moderate low carbs, just below the 100 grams a day, that will give you beneficial um, effects immediately. It will help reduce your appetite, it will help you control your hunger, which is obviously what we're all after. Number two is going to moderate low carb. That is what most people kind of settle on, around the 50 grams per day. But if you really want to go stricter and you need, if you've got health concerns that you want to address pretty rapidly, then absolutely go for the keto. That's only 20 grams per day. So that's the second mistake that I see is that not setting the incorrect macros for you. And the third mistake I see, a mistake people make all the time, is too many snacks. It doesn't matter whether they're a low carb snack, whether they're a keto snack, whether Whatever it is, don't go for the snacks all the time because if you keep on snacking, then you are always going to be triggering your glucose and your insulin response and so for you're never going to get into the um, into the fat burning mode. We want you to be a fat burner, not a sugar burner, which is what most people are when they're living on a high carb diet. So those are the three tips for you today. And I've also got this, you know I always give you something away. So this is my top five um, meal plan for you. And it will show you all the meal plan and the shopping list. There's a recipes there for you. There's a little pantry guide. And there's even a measurement tracker. So that's what I've got for you today. The link is above for you. And they are the top three mistakes I see when people go low carbon keto. Not tracking their macros. 
setting the wrong macros and too many snacks. So hopefully they have hit home for you. Hopefully you can get some good ideas to keep you on track. And I'll see you over in the Facebook group or in the Facebook page or on the website and have a wonderful week. Okay, bye.